Just a few weeks away from the royal arrival, any new details of the birth are feeding a growing sense of anticipation. And now it's emerged that the Duchess of Cambridge is expected to deliver her baby in a private wing of St Mary's Hospital near London's Paddington Station, the same place Prince William was born. It's understood William hopes to be at his wife's side for the birth, as his father attended his. There's a heightened sense of protectiveness. Memories are still strong of the events at St Edward's Hospital, where Kate Middleton was being treated for morning sickness and where a nurse apparently killed herself days after passing through a hoax call made by Australian radio DJs. Six months after the ill-fated prank call, royal officials have appealed to the media to treat the birth with an appropriate degree of sensitivity, dignity and privacy and not to interfere with the running of the hospital. The first indication that a baby has been born will be the delivery of a notice from the hospital to be posted in the forecourt of Buckingham Palace. That's when the world will know if it's a boy or a girl. It's understood the Duke and Duchess don't know their baby's gender because they didn't want to find out. Proposed changes to the laws of succession are meant to ensure either way this child will be third in line for the throne. I can't remember when William was born, one of the first things that the Queen said to a bystander who praised her was said, yes, now, now the future is secure. And I think that any member of such an ancient institution is always looking to the future, particularly if you're 87. And so she now, the Queen, at 87, knows that the future is Charles, William, and now William's uh, son or daughter. One thing's for certain, this will be for royal supporters the most widely anticipated baby of his or her generation. Mary Guerin, ABC News, London.